Well, everyone, this is part two for all of you. For me, it's the same day. I'm just going to take my time at this. Now, I already took a whole big shelf out of here. The whole purpose of this is to organize everything. Now, you saw how I got the one pantry looking better. We're going to fast forward. I'm not going to talk at all the rest of this video. I'm just going to let you watch and see. And as the weeks go, it's going to be transformed more, but I have to have it in an orderly fashion to just cope with life. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to organize all of this. When you are overwhelmed, most people do get overwhelmed in certain projects. You want to start in a zone. So I got some of these Lysol wipes, wiping everything down and I'm working in a zone. I'm starting here. As you watch the video, you're going to see me progress from here to there and then maybe to over here. So I'm progressing and going the whole way around. What am I doing? I am putting all of the alight foods together on the shelves. That is what I am doing. So let's give for an instance, getting everything off the floor. So all of my food is going on the shelves if I can find room for it. All right, so that's what we're doing. Now, I am I have my essential oils. I would love to be able to put these somewhere. I'm gonna work on that. I'm not sure where I'm gonna go with this yet. Okay, let's get watching the video. Come on, you're my cheerleading squad. Let's get her done. everyone we are finished there is so much more room in here it's hard to show on video and camera but there is so much room the floor you can easy walk in it so what I am hoping to do is eventually here in the next two to three months get rid of this shelf consume this food most of it so it might take a little longer than that but we are not buying food as much as we used to. So there you go, everyone. So from this part of the camera, over here, over here, and over here is all organized. I need to organize in there a little bit. And then I need to organize the top of this one a little bit. But we're going to continue on the out porch pantry, continue to work on that. And as I get that empty, I'm slowly taking stuff out of here and in there. The floor in that one is concrete and that can handle a lot more weight. So people talked about the weight in here. I am concerned about it, but we have no problems whatsoever. We have solid floors. We don't have any soft floors in our house. But with that being said, it's a lot of food and we don't need that much food. So we're cleaning everything up here and it's looking great. I want to get a few more lights in here to make it look pretty. And I can't wait to this winter to be sitting in here and reading again. This has always been one of my favorite rooms. I just love sitting and looking at all the beautiful food. And now I know that everything is organized and cleaning up. It makes me feel so much better. As I walk through my pantries, I find little bits of food here and there. And I make a conscious effort to right away put them in glass jars and vacuum seal them. 
and then that way when I'm finished with the project it's totally finished so what you see in this part of the video is extra food that I had in my pantries when I was cleaning up food that really needs to be stored long term in other words you don't really want to store food in cardboard boxes you don't want to store food in plastic bags you really should have it in some type of air type container whether it be glass or it would be vacuum sealed so I'm working on that right now As I go through my things, I find bits and pieces of candles. And today I'm making some candle wax for warmers. And that I've done in many videos. All you do is melt your wax and put it in these molds. These are cinnamon bun molds. And I like making these for gifts, for Christmas time. And it's a nice way to use up different random bits and pieces of candles. All right, everyone, we're in my pantry now. And I have so much room in here. I cannot believe how much room I have in this pantry. The floor is clean and clear and I'm having so much fun organizing everything. So I was going through my essential oils and I need to put them all back. I have lots of essential oils because I'm an affiliate with Simply Earth. Now, Simply Earth has all kinds of essential oils, but what I really like about them is they have their subscription box. And the subscription box has all kinds of craft ideas with them. So for the month of July, we're going to be making some bath powder, bath salt soak, and then it comes with the dried roses, and it comes with all of the essential oils. And so it gives you so much more than what you need for the projects they have. So we have all kinds of things and roses are the theme for July, which is gonna be so much fun. All right, I am done cleaning in here. I found this beautiful doily when I was cleaning. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that away. And then these that I made, absolutely love them too. So they're gonna go in here and I'm gonna have them probably put them with a gift that I'm working on. But I absolutely love how they turned out. I just love it in here. I mean, I have so much room. You guys wouldn't believe on camera, it's hard to show how big a room is, but it's so much bigger than what it is in camera. And then there is a YouTube channel called Purposeful Pantry, and I bought her book. And what I've been doing is, I've been writing down everything that I can or dehydrate. I've been writing it down in my book, and that way I can keep track of it. It goes by the items, so the food items. So you can write down how much you canned and what you did with them. I absolutely love this book. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the book away. The book stays in here. I learned the mistakes that I made. I made some really huge mistakes and you're gonna be seeing in upcoming videos. But one of the biggest mistakes are when you're canning, I left the rings on and what happened was the rings would um, rust. And then when they rusted, it made the lids rust never 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 had the rings on i generally didn't do that but sometimes i did because life got busy and i just it was just something i should not have done and now with dry good food it's okay with all of the dried foods but like home canned foods like things like this should never have the rings on it never 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 have the rings on because through the years, the rings rust and then the lids started rusting. So then if the lids rusted, I didn't use that food. And I'm going to have tutorials and show you what, you know, some of the things I did that were big mistakes. But, you know, I'm looking at all my food now. This room is just about totally cleaned up. What I'm trying to do is, and my end goal is this shelf beside me to have that totally gone. So that is my goal. And as we eat food up, we're, I'll put these on the shelves and stuff like that. And then that way, this is totally gone. The out porch pantry is totally finished. I mean, I worked. I touched and handled every single jar of food that I own. And let me tell you what, the out porch pantry, it needed it. <laughs> 
it was in bad shape as far as not being organized. And so I'm using that now and I'm drying some of my herbs. And that's what I wanted to do in today's video, but it's raining, so I can't do that. But I really have everything looking good and I look around and I absolutely enjoy it being in here. And I have enough of room on my floor. I could probably have four of these rocking chairs because I just cleaned everything up and organized and just centered my life a little bit and said, okay, Tessie, I looked at it with fresh eyes and I said, you know what? You do need to take care of some things and you need to clean up and you need to go through all your items and you need to see what you have and what you don't have. Before I had a YouTube channel, I didn't really date my food very much. And that's because I really didn't do a whole lot of canning before I had my YouTube channel. I did canning, you know, for a yearly basis, but I didn't have the food volume that I had to, there over those couple years that I was saying yes to everything. And when I was saying yes to everything, I got all of this food and I was canning it in mega, mega way because I thought the world was gonna end. And the world didn't end, we're still here today. And I realized that I can't feed into that anymore. Like the world's gonna end tomorrow. The world's gonna end tomorrow because it just gets to the point where it's obsessive. And then when you have it obsessive and you have a condition where you don't like seeing food wasted, then that's a vicious cycle of getting food, canning it, food, canning, 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 canning. And, and to the point where you have so much food, you don't know what to do with it simply because you didn't want to see anybody waste it. But you know what? In this world, people are going to waste food. I can't, I can't take every bit of food that's going to be thrown away. I just can't. And I have a very nice pantry. So I would say we have, for hubby and I, two years, maybe three. If it would be my whole family, which is 10 of us, it would be about a year, I think. I, you know, I'm not basing off of any scientific notion. I'm just basing on how I feel it is, you know, give or take. You know, we would have to get used to eating food that we don't normally eat. You know, once we eat all the good food, you know, all the good food would get consumed. And then, of course, you would be left with the other food that is, you know, rice, <laughs> you know, beans and rice. So the first thing people would eat was my strawberry pie filling. First thing people would eat was my sauce, salsa and my chili base and all of the wonderful flavored foods. And then after that, we would have a lot of beans and rice. So that's what my pantry looks like. Yes, it's still very full, but that whole shelf over there is gone. And there's my floor. And this is the shelf I want to get rid of totally get rid of this in due time. That probably won't happen until the fall. And then I can work back in there. Now I did recently work back in there and did a video on that because this goes on wheels and I actually can pull this out. But there you go, everyone. And then I have a little light, which is run by battery. So I always have a little light in here. That way I can film in here for all of you. All right, so these are my candles. Now I'm melting some just clear wax, and that's gonna be the icing on here. So these are for my tart warmer.